The haze hanging over the East Bay turned the air quality so bad today that it uh, actually became difficult for some to breathe. KPI X5's Andrea Borba reports from Walnut Creek on how locals coped with that bad air. Despite an air quality index that soared well past unhealthy in Walnut Creek and much of the East Bay, diners came out in droves this Friday night. While the jazz is smooth in Walnut Creek tonight, the air quality is not. It's horrible. I <laughs> it's been really hard to breathe lately. From Sky Drone 5, you can see the smoke from the Caldor and Monument fires choking the Bay Area. The wind shift really kicked in around mid morning, making masks not only necessary to stop the spread of COVID 19, but to take a deep breath. It's awful. I'm sick of it. I'm thinking of moving, actually. <laughs> Because you can't go outside all summer long. You can't even go on vacation anywhere. Can't let your dogs out. You can't let your kids play outside. It's just too much. And it's bad for people with asthma like me. Not being able to breathe really isn't great. Chelsea Benninger works at a COVID testing site and has been out in the smoke all day long. We have uh, N95s on, obviously. So the smoke didn't bother us as much today. Uh, but a lot of patients didn't enjoy it. But it's still Friday night and restaurants were hopping, though diners had a choice to make. Eat inside with a higher risk of contracting COVID-19 or eat outside in an unhealthy AQI. For Noor and Chelsea, the choice was easy. I don't think we're more scared of COVID than some smoke in the air. Tonight should have been the triumphant return of Friday Night Lights for high schools all over the Bay Area, but many of them, because of the air quality index, ended up canceling their games. That includes Pittsburgh, Antioch Union, and others. In Walnut Creek, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.